Okay guys, I'm here today with Giancarlo Bodoni, huge honor for me, the NEC 2022 champion. And uh, guys, today Giancarlo is gonna show us here one arm drag that he used to take everybody's back from the standing position. So uh, he used that against, I think it was against J-Rod, right? Uh, yeah, Giancarlo? Yeah. And uh, super excited to learn, so let's do that. Uh, yeah, so obviously uh, in terms of getting to somebody's back, one of the best uh, moves you can use is an arm drag um, and it's very versatile you can hit it from guard position you can hit it from standing position um, and so from standing position um, the move that I use and a lot of my a lot of uh, uh, our team is known for is using uh, judo and particular foot sweeps to uh, to off balance and take our training partners down and I like to use this in conjunction with the arm drag because a lot of times when we go in and we just hit an arm drag straight here okay and if I go around, I want to try to get to Bernardo's far hip, but we end up chasing the hips. He knows that I want to start to get behind him, and he starts running away from me. And then from there, there's obviously follow-ups that I can do. Um, but if I want to get to the far hip, one of the best things I can do is put an obstacle in front of his feet, <coughs> stumble him, and then you know get him off balance. And before he can circle away from me, I'm usually able to get to the to the to my opponent's far hip. Okay. So however I do it, I come out and I get a hold of my training partner's hand. I get a hold of his armpit and I start outside stepping and pulling myself across. Okay, my whole thing is I wanna outside step, I wanna start pulling my opponent onto his toes, pull my shoulder to his shoulder as I drag the arm across. And as I do that, I just place the sole of my foot on the far ankle, okay? Anywhere between the ankle and the knee, somewhere on the shin over here, okay? You don't have to be super precise with it, but just place your foot there as a barrier so that as I start drawing my opponent forward, instead of just me pulling him forward with the arm drag, I hit a little stumble, and I probably won't put him down to the floor, but I'll at least get him hopping. So I might come in, as he gives me a little resistance, I pull and I stumble him just enough that I can get to the far hip, okay? And then once I get to the far hip, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can do to start putting my opponent down and taking his back. The main thing is I got behind his elbows, okay? So I came out, I started off in front of my opponent. We're in a head-to-head -head position. We're wrestling here, and I start dragging my opponent's hand across the body. I take my whole wrist up high into the armpit, okay? You don't want to come down to the elbow because as he goes to pull away from it, it'll slip down the arm. So if I start off high up on the armpit, even if it does slip, I'll have a lot more arm to be able to hold on to. In addition to that, I won't just grab with my fingertips because it can get very slippery, even especially as things start to get a little sweaty. So as we come out and we start wrestling with each other, we go all the way up with the whole wrist, okay? Make sure you get your whole wrist and thumb in through and then curl the wrist and grab like so, okay? So as I go and I pull him across, I'm pulling him onto his toes, so I'm putting weight onto his foot. I'm outside stepping and I'm placing my foot here as I go shoulder to shoulder with this hand. And from here, I just get enough of a stumble that I can access the far hip. Once I get to the far hip, we go in and we lock the rear body lock, okay? Uh, last thing I'll add is that when you go and you hit the, uh, the sasai, okay, I'm looking to knock my opponent over. And so what I don't want to do is just peck at my opponent's foot, okay, with my hips bent backwards. I want to start putting my hips in and extending my leg and rotating as I drag him across. Okay, so my hips come in close and I drive my hips forward as I hit the side. So don't have your hips bent and just kick the leg. Make sure that you're driving the hips in as you pull him across. The hips are coming in and I'm rotating to face the direction that he'd be stumbling to ultimately come in and get to my opponent's hips. Uh, no, it's super interesting because most of the people, they think about arm drags and you're just thinking about hitting the perfect arm drag and get the person's back, right? Mm -hmm. But this is almost like not as good, but a lot easier to apply yeah. than the full arm drag, right? Yeah, because I create because I want to get to your back. But if I just go to hit a regular arm drag, sometimes it's hard for me to go in and, and get to the back. It's so far yeah, away, yeah, you start circling away, away from me. Yeah. So then I have to go in. I start looking to grab your leg, get some sort of contact to to your to your to your legs and hips. So I use the the foot sweep just to stumble you. And then as you yeah, stumble, yeah, the hips become yeah. available to oh, me. Very simple and very efficient. And uh, yeah, the, on, on ADCC, I noticed that you were using a lot of these stuff. Like not only like the arm drag with Sasai, but you were always like hitting the, yeah. everybody's legs. And, uh, so you like combining like Sasai with... Mm, yeah, we train that a lot in the gym. So like a lot of our guys are very good at like foot sweeps. Gordon's very good at foot sweeps from a bunch of different positions, front, back, 
And so we trained a lot of judo, but foot sweeps in particular, not just hand fighting, but fighting with the feet no. and combining moves that are hand techniques like arm drags with leg techniques like yeah. foot sweeps. And I think like on wrestling, we don't see that many foot sweeps because the goal is to put the person's back on the ground, yeah. right? And in Jiu-Jitsu, we don't care as long as we take now or take the back. Who is... Yeah, there's a lot of guys that were very good, like Steve Mako, who were yep, very yep, good yep, with yep, leg yep, techniques. Yep, yep. Um, and so we like to watch guys like that and yeah, try yeah. to pick stuff up. Yeah. No, no, that's incredible. And uh, by the way, this is part of your f back to chest or chest to back instructional in front of the elbows, correct? So um, we go, we briefly go over how to get behind our opponent's elbows. So that's part of it. Arm drags are a part yeah, of it. Yeah. How to go from in front of the elbows to behind the elbows. Um, but the main emphasis being on taking the back. Um, eventually, I'll do a video that encompasses all out. standing positions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But guys, make sure to check it out. Uh, John Carlo Bodani's instructions at BGJ Fanatics. He's one of the best instructors we have, and he just won the ADCC. And he's training under John Danaher, so he's really like learning how to teach Jiu Jitsu as well. So maybe you're gonna, you guys will see a lot of the, this guy's face here all over the internet because he's winning everything. So I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks so much, Bodani. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.